In the hushed glow of a vintage theater, where the flickering of the projector's light painted stories on the silver screen, do you remember the very first time you embarked on a journey to the ancient lands of biblical grandeur? The year was 1949, and Samson and Delilah took its ethereal stance in the realm of cinema. Perhaps you were wrapped in the scent of buttered popcorn and anticipation, the rustling of velvet seats creating an orchestra of anticipation around you. As the reels unfurled, the tale of strength and betrayal woven through the legendary figures of Samson, and Delilah gripped your senses. The opulence of the costumes, the palpable chemistry between the characters, the grandeur of the sets, they conspired to whisk you away into an era where tales were told with an enchanting blend of opulence and simplicity. In the decades that have gracefully waltzed by, the sands of time might have shifted, but the memory of your first encounter with this cinematic masterpiece remains etched in your mind. Was it Samson's astonishing might that left you in awe, or did Delilah's beguiling beauty? and treacherous allure linger like a whispered secret. Perhaps it was the timeless theme of the fragile dance between power and love that struck a resonant chord within you, the echoes of which still reverberate. And now, as we step beyond the threshold of nostalgia, let's journey together into a realm of intriguing facts about this celluloid gem. Peer through the sepia-tinged lens of history as we uncover the hidden layers, the anecdotes that danced just outside the spotlight, the serendipities that brought this magnum opus to life. Buckle up, for the curtain is rising on a stage where history and entertainment entwine, where facts are like gems waiting to be discovered beneath the sands of fiction. Get ready to be astonished, amused, and enlightened as we delve into the world of Samson and Delilah. A world waiting to share its secrets, its secrets, its secrets. Samson and Delilah, a 1949 film, is an epic biblical drama that portrays the story of Samson, a Herculean Israelite endowed with supernatural strength, and his treacherous love affair with Delilah, a seductive Philistine. Directed by Cecil B. DeMille, the movie draws from the Book of Judges in the Old Testament, infusing the age-old tale with grandeur and spectacle. Victor Mature's portrayal of the mighty Samson and Hedy Lamar's mesmerizing depiction of Delilah breathe life into these iconic characters, driving the narrative with their powerful chemistry. The film's distinctive style lies in its opulent sets, lavish costumes, and breathtaking action sequences, all characteristic of DeMille's signature cinematic flair. With its groundbreaking special effects and captivating storytelling, Samson and Delilah became a commercial triumph, earning critical acclaim and making a significant impact on popular culture. Its opulent portrayal of betrayal, love, and retribution left an indelible mark on Hollywood's cinematic landscape, influencing subsequent biblical epics and leaving an enduring legacy. Through its portrayal of complex characters and timeless themes, Samson and Delilah remains an emblem of classic filmmaking, demonstrating the potency of ancient narratives in modern entertainment. Delilah's dazzling attire, a gilded feat in film in the annals of cinematic extravagance, the 1949 epic Samson and Delilah shines bright with its opulent costumes. Notably, Delilah's resplendent peacock gown and cape have etched their gilded presence into Hollywood history. Adorned with no less than 2,000 meticulously gilded peacock feathers, this remarkable ensemble was a mere stroke of costume genius. It was a labor of artistry. Crafted by the deft hands of 12 skilled women, the gown's creation spanned a full three weeks, a testament to the dedication to detail that characterized the film. A tale of box office triumph beyond its sartorial splendor, Samson and Delilah attained legendary status as a cinematic juggernaut. Its remarkable financial prowess catapulted it to the summit of 1950's box office success. A staggering $28 million in gross revenue secured its place as the highest grossing film of the year, leaving its closest competitor, Battleground, trailing in the dust with a modest $4,540,000 in earnings. The movie's spellbinding depiction of the age-old tale, combined with the star power of Hedy Lamar and Victor Mature, undoubtedly contributed to its unparalleled financial triumph. The casting myth and camaraderie yet, beneath the glitz and glamour, a tale of casting camaraderie weaves its own narrative thread. A persistent myth surrounds the notion that George Reeves vied for the role of Samson, only to be outshone by Victor Mature. In truth, Reeves was never a contender for the lead role. However, Victor Mature, known for his loyalty to his Pasadena community playhouse cronies, did more than just secure his own part. He extended a helping hand to his fellow thespians. 
Reeves, through Mature's recommendation, took on the role of the wounded messenger. This casting camaraderie didn't end with Reeves. Many smaller roles in the movie were bestowed upon Mature's friends from his Pasadena days. As the luminous legacy of Samson and Delilah continues to captivate audiences, it's these behind-the-scenes anecdotes that add depth to its glittering surface. From the gilded splendor of Delilah's wardrobe to the box office conquest that left its contemporaries in awe, this film etches its mark not just as a timeless epic, but as a testament to the artistry, camaraderie, and camaraderie that fuels the magic of cinema. The set of Tubal's house in Samson and Delilah, a 1949 epic directed by Cecil B. DeMille, transported audiences to a historically accurate Minon Palace. With inverted columns, flower frescoes, and intricate circle motifs, the art directors meticulously recreated the grandeur of ancient Crete. This design choice stemmed from the fascinating link between the Philistines and the Minoans, suggested by modern archaeology. According to this research, the Philistines, portrayed as Samson's adversaries, might have descended from the Minoans of Crete. This architectural homage to a bygone civilization added a layer of authenticity to the film's grandeur and spectacle. The fusion of historical accuracy and cinematic imagination in the set of Tubal's house truly transported the audience back in time, captivating them in the world of Samson and Delilah. The film's visual splendor was further complemented by Victor Young's masterful composition. His lush background music, including the sweeping score for Samson and Delilah, earned him an Academy Award nomination in 1950. This recognition marked a pivotal moment in Young's career, as it became one of his most esteemed accolades. The years that followed saw both recognition and surprising omissions from the Academy. Young's evocative scores for The Quiet Man and Shane failed to secure nominations, despite their impact on these iconic films. Ultimately, Young's exceptional talent endured, culminating in a posthumous win for Around the World in 80 Days. In the world of Samson and Delilah, history and artistry converged, bringing forth a visually and musically enchanting cinematic experience. The film's attention to historical accuracy through the meticulous set design and the emotive power of Victor Young's score elevated it beyond a mere retelling of a biblical tale. Samson and Delilah remains a testament to the timeless marriage of creativity and historical inspiration in the world of cinema. Hedy Lamar's portrayal of Delilah also left an indelible mark, prompting accolades of Oscar-worthy caliber. A newspaper advertisement of the era proclaimed, one of the most glamorous women ever to step before a movie camera, Hetty proves in her most important role to date. Out of Delilah in Cecil B. DeMille's Technicolor production for Paramount, Samson and Delilah, that Academy Awards for emoting are also within her scope. Lamar's performance captured the essence of the character and added to the film's allure, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In the realm of classic cinema, Samson and Delilah stands as a captivating marriage of historical inspiration, artistic vision, and memorable performances, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of film history. Um, history. Um, history. Um, history. Amid the golden era of Hollywood, Cecil B. DeMille's 1949 epic Samson and Delilah stands as a cinematic marvel. However, beneath the surface glamour lies a web of intriguing facts that have stirred the film's history. One captivating revelation stems from Scott Iman's biography of DeMille. It was Victor Mature, not Burt Lancaster, who clinched the role of Samson. Iman's account delves into the political currents behind this casting choice. With DeMille and Mature sharing conservative views, Lancaster's liberal affiliations seemingly dashed his chances. Politics, it appeared, wielded as much influence as talent in the making of celluloid dreams. Moreover, the quest to find the perfect Delilah was no less dramatic. DeMille's discerning eye fell upon luminaries like Gene Simmons, Lana Turner, and Rita Hayworth. However, Turner and Hayworth were held captive by their respective studios, MGM and Columbia Pictures, unable to grace Paramount's stage. Simmons, on the other hand, expressed her desire to embody Delilah, only to be thwarted by contractual shackles with J. Arthur Rank. This intriguing power play between studios and stars cast a shadow on the path to the silver screen. And then, an unexpected twist emerged from the annals of humor, courtesy of Groucho Marx. A special screening beckoned the legendary comedian to witness the opulent tale. In his inimitable wit, Groucho offered a cheeky critique, deeming the film's imbalance of proportions a glaring fault. 
The leading man's bust outshining the leading ladies left him nonplussed. His jest offered a whimsical perspective, lightening the gravity of the production. Samson and Delilah, a saga of biblical magnitude, unfolded with a tapestry woven from threads of politics, studio dynamics, and comedic whimsy. In this dance of forces, the movie found its place within the annals of cinematic lore. Cinematic lore. Cinematic lore. As the final credits roll on the captivating tale of Samson and Delilah, we find ourselves not merely as spectators of a bygone era, but as participants in a timeless story of love, betrayal, and the enduring power of human emotions. This 1949 cinematic gem has woven its threads into the fabric of our cinematic history, leaving an indelible mark on the way we perceive grand narratives on the silver screen. But beyond the sweeping desert landscapes and opulent costumes lies something even more profound a mirror into our own lives. Samson's strength and Delilah's allure symbolize the complexity of desires that shape our choices, sometimes leading us astray from our destined paths. As the characters wrestle with their flaws and strengths, we're reminded of our own struggles, victories, and heartaches. Perhaps it's the melancholic strains of the score that echo moments of our own vulnerability, or the fiery intensity of the performances that stir dormant passions within us. Think back to those quiet nights or lazy afternoons when you've been transported into this world of ancient allure and timeless human struggles. What feelings arose? What memories were stirred? What thoughts were kindled? We invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with Samson and Delilah. What scenes have left an everlasting impression? Which lines of dialogue have resonated deeply within your soul? As we share our favorite memories and thoughts about this cinematic masterpiece, we're forging a collective tapestry of emotions that bridge the gap between generations. Your reflections are not merely musings, they are a testament to the enduring power of cinema to touch our hearts and minds across time. So, let your words flow, and let your memories breathe new life. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and being a part of this vibrant tapestry of human experience. With gratitude for your time and interest. Trist, trist, trist.